Hey, what's going on everyone? So today we're going to be checking out high speed continuous shooting on the Canon EOS R6, which I'm filming on right now. We're going to be checking out what's called blackout whenever you're in high speed shooting. And the reason why I want to do this video is because when I purchased this camera, I was upgrading from a 70D and when you have it in live view mode on the 70D, you basically could not do high speed continuous shooting because the screen would completely black out in between shots actually the whole time and i'll show you guys an example of that and exactly what blackout is now it did get better in some of the newer models like the eos r but there was still some lag time between some of the sh uh, high speed continuous shooting on there but in this thing when i purchased it i could not find any video anywhere describing the uh, blackout when you're shooting in high speed now I do a lot of high speed shooting when my son's racing BMX trying to get that perfect shot so this camera will shoot 20 frames per second in full electronic mode so I was pretty excited about that my Canon 70D would only shoot 7 frames per second now this thing does shoot 12 frames per second in mechanical shutter mode or like I said 20 frames per second in electro full electronic shutter mode so Basically, I wanted to produce this video for you guys if you're interested in this camera and had the same concerns I had. We're going to go ahead and take a look at that here today and see if there is any kind of lag in between shots or what's called blackout. So if you guys find this video helpful or useful, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up and leave a comment below and let me guys know what you think about your current camera or if you guys are thinking about upgrading to this, if this is one of your concerns. Let's check it out. All right guys, so now basically this is my 70D in, in live view and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about about blackout. So I'm in high speed continuous shooting which will be seven frames per second. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to take a picture. And you can see there how the screen completely blacks out in between shots. So you have no idea where the subject is at when you're trying to capture them because in between pictures there is no picture at all and you can't see what, what uh, where your subject is that you're following. All right guys, so basically the only way to continue to track your subject with the 70D is to take it off a live view, look through the screen here and put it on our servo mode and then follow your subject with the point. But you can hear that that's as fast as it'll go, seven frames per second on the old 70D. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, new Canon R6 and the tracking mode on that. All right guys, so now we're on the Canon EOS R6 and I'm going to show you guys here now this is basically in mechanical shutter mode not electronic mode and this is what I could not find any video tutorials on or any reviews on this so we're going to see if there's any blackout when you're trying to follow your subject now so I, you can see there I got the eye tracking locked on and I'm going to go ahead and start taking pictures and you can see how it's uh, a little bit choppy but no blackout whatsoever so you could still follow your subject perfectly with that but here I'm going to show you guys now this is really where this camera shines and you put it in full electronic shutter mode and you're going to see how smooth this is here trying to follow a subject so we're going to go ahead lock on to him again now check this out go ahead back bud all right now it's going to be hard to lock onto his eye because it can't see his eye but look at that I mean no no delay at all and I just took let's see um, I don't even know how many pictures but I just took a ton of pictures of him and you can see there's no delay you can see the screen flashing but it's staying locked on and no delay so easy to follow your subject I cannot be any more happy with this camera I'm glad I took the chance and got it um, like I said that was one of the deciding factors for me now we're going to show you what it looks like through the viewfinder here when you're shooting in electronic shutter and basically it's the same as what you're looking at on the screen this is going to be a little bit kind of hard to show you guys being that uh i'm trying to film this with a gopro let's see if i can get everything on there good spin around bud y you can see there snapping photos no blackout good start running No blackout, easy to keep on your subject. So you guys can see here that I took 59 photos in that short burst and I wasn't even holding the shutter down completely the whole time. I let off a few times because I didn't want to take that many pictures, but 
uh, you can see how fast it is. Here's some of the shots that I got from the short burst of him spinning around into a 360. And you can see that these are all attack sharp. Pretty amazing. Now, here's another example through the viewfinder of him running towards me. You could see that, that the uh, eye tracking stayed locked on the whole time. And here's all the photos that I got from that short burst. You could see that all these shots are in focus as well and this is with the Canon 24 to 105 L lens that I got with the camera and I would have never been able to accomplish this with the 70D especially at only shooting seven frames per second and this is through the viewfinder again you can see as soon as I hit the focus button that it locks on directly to his eye right there and it stays locked on the whole time until I release the shutter button once he gets close to me right here so let's take a closer look at some of these pictures zoomed way in. Now this one, he was a little further away. These are all JPEG images, not raw. These are at shutter speed 1 1,000th of a second and ISO 250 on these ones here. Now this next one is going to be when it was getting dusk. It was ISO 6400, 1 1,000th of a second. And it was getting pretty dark out at this point. This one's right here is straight out of the camera and then I lightened it up a little bit right here by just increasing the shadows. Alright guys so there's my test with the Canon EOS R6 in high speed continuous shooting mode and blackout. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments what you guys think about the blackout. I think there is really none especially when you're in electronic shutter mode and this camera is a beast in that mode. I tend to see myself shooting in that mode more often than not even sometimes when I'm only taking quick one uh, shot pictures of my kid I accidentally have it in that mode sometimes and I tend to get you know three to four shots when I think I'm only taking one that's just how fast it is and it's so silent you can't hear the shutter at all so half the time you don't even realize you're taking photos so that's the only thing is that you tend to take a lot more photos than normal and I'll link below in the description the memory card that I've been using it's actually a micro SD card I haven't had any issues with speed either on video or on photos and these cards are really very reasonable and I've been using these cards for years in both my 70D my GoPros and now in the EOS R6 and never had an issue yet with them so I'll put affiliate links in the description below if you guys are interested in checking those out and if you found this video helpful especially if you're like me and we're thinking about purchasing this camera but you were concerned if it had blackout during high speed shooting. Hope you guys found this video enjoyable and helpful. If so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell. And I will definitely see you guys around on the next one. Thanks for watching.